Greetings to respected principal, honorable judges, and loving teachers. How are you all during this pandemic? Hope you are all fine. I'm Alice Myron from Stain the Tain. Today, I'm here to express my views on the life of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Well, sit back and listen. Let me begin my speech by thanking our principals and teachers for giving us such an opportunity to speak on this special year 2021. For this is the year of Ignatius, where Jesuits all over the world celebrate the life the feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola in the year 1491. A future creator of Jesuit was born in northern Spain in a noble family. He would be quickly be called a St. Ignatius of Loyola. He left his life at court in 1517 to join an army to be a soldier in the service of the Spanish king while defending the Quitadel at Pamplona against the France. Ignatius was hit by a cannonball, sustaining a bread fracture to his right leg and damage to his left leg. During these prolonged and painful convalescence for once of romantic books at Castel, he seriously went through two books that would exert a powerful influence over his mind and heart, The Life of Christ and The Life of Sin. While reading this book, he found an interior transformation over his whole life and decided to be a soldier in a Catholic faith. He finished his degree at the age of 43. Ignatius gathered a group of young men who shared his business at the University of Paris. Along with St. Francis Xavier and other students started the Society of Jesus or Jesuit in 1534. He was an organizational genius. He dedicated the last 16 years of life in guiding and in financing the Constitution Society, enormous correspondence, and in guiding the expanding orders. He died at the age of 65 on 31st July 1556. So in honor of his sacrifice to the society, we celebrate his peace day on 31st July every year. At the end of the elocution, I want to conclude that if you want to be of use to others, begin by taking pain in yourselves. The, power, the fire that is to enkindle to others should be lighted at home by St. Ignatius of Loyola. Thank you.